Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm happy to have you guys here. Today I wanted to show my workflow uh, of one of the edits that I've done recently from the shoot I mentioned in the previous video that you guys have seen on the channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, so this now is just a breakdown of what I've done. The apps that I've used to kind of help my workflow to go a little bit faster. Uh, I'm really just sharing it because I think it will be beneficial to you guys. I'll only be mentioning the names of the app if you guys want me to go more a little deeper in how to use it and what it can really do, then I will go into those details. But for now, I'm just going to stick to showing my workflow and the, the stage in which I take to get to the final process. Okay, so this is the image right here. Um, it's a done image. Uh, I'm sure there's more can be done, but for now it's pretty good. This is the beginning stages of where I start. This was the beginning. And there's an app that's called Retouch For Me, and this is where it does healing. And it basically got rid of like the blemishes of the skin. It, it, it took it down more than what I needed. That way I had less work to do in the end. And also I use Liquify to kind of sculpt uh, parts of her body. As you can see here, once I activate the thing right here, you can see that the bumps right here that were there before are less on the skin. And as you can see here, you'll see here kind of shapes out back a little bit more once I do that. And you'll see some of the, the marks up here dis disappear. Anyway, and then once I go that, the next one now is, it's a, it's a dodge and burn that the app does, but it doesn't really do a really good job. But for what it did, I just left it there because I wanted you guys to see it. Next, I went on to doing uh, frequent separation. As you can see, those marks now on the chin air on our right side here um, has pretty much um, disappeared. If I go into the breakdown here, I've actually used, you know, um, the pen because I use a Wacom with my doing my edits. Uh, this is my Wacom. Um, tablet that I use to do my edits. A mouse is good, but a Wacom gives a little bit more natural feel of just, you know, doing uh, accurate brush strokes and stuff like that. Um, so I did the, you know, the skin right here, as you can see, right? And like I said, I took care of the shadow areas of the chest area that I thought was a little bit too much and the chin, all right? So that was the frequency separation. Then I went into <clears throat> the first round of dodging and burning. And these are very, very, very subtle things that I did, but it, as you can see here, in this area right here, once I take it off, you'll see it disappear. And you know, this is just the beginning stages. And I go through and you'll see another slight very slight and then I go through again and you'll see just very slight especially on the forehead section right here you will see how that area is getting better and better as I progress and then now the burning is really just a very minor thing under the chin area I'll move on to the other this was when now I pretty much just did a merge layer um, of the image to go on to the next stage of dodging and burning. Um, in this section right here, I kind of brought the highlights up a little bit brighter. On her cheek right here, her jawline, the neck area, and her shoulders. I will just activate it on and off. All right. Once I brought those up, I went and I went into the dodging and burning. And this was more of a, an aggressive, more of an aggressive um, dodging and burning where I brought down the, the, the shadows a little bit more on the jawline, the neck area, and the edges of the, the arm. I'll tug it on and off so you guys can see, just like that. Then I went to the other where it says right here, noise. And I literally just 
give the image just a little bit more texture because sometimes when you do skin smooth it kind of takes away the, the texture the noise just adding a, a small amount of noise just kind of brings back that texture in the skin a little bit as you can see here i took the opacity down um, to about 70 percent all right then i went back into another phase of dodging and burning right there and these are these were just some small areas that I saw that needed to be um, adjusted all right and then once I go there then I do another stage of dodging and burning just to take down some of these highlights here under the chin a little bit and right by the neck the neck area all right and then now I go this is a grouping so let me just activate that and what this is now is is pretty much just the the grouping of the dodging and burning that I did in this layer. If I take it off, toggle it on, you will see what took place right there. So pretty much what I did was I, I enhanced those highlights a little bit more. That way it just stands out uh, on the picture a lot better. Um, if you look, you will see my mask right there. All right. Anyway, so I'll move on to the next one. So like I said, these are highlights now. So if you can notice now, I added some more highlights in the hair, the section right here, just pay attention right here in the air. And then you'll see, you take it off, take it on, take it off, take it on. So I try to do things as very subtle, as subtle as possible, because I don't want it to go too aggressive. Because when you go too aggressive, it, you, it tends to make the image look a little bit fake. You know what I'm saying? So you try to do things just very subtle, gradually, all right? This was just a mask here. If you saw my thumbnail, you'll see that I, I use a thumbnail on the fonts or behind her. This was just that, so I don't need to even show that. All right, so the color correction of the skin, <clears throat> I did that. Um, it was very subtle because I noticed that there was a little bit of hint of green our tint of green in the skin and I just used that with the uh, color balance and I you know worked on the mid-tones I worked on the highlights and then I worked on the shadows very very if you notice these numbers are very very low a plus two on the shadows when I go to the mid-tone I, I took a, a negative one and a plus four on the yellows in the mid-tone go to the highlights it was just a minus four in the in the yellows so you know you, you you i like to keep like i said it's better when you go and you do a very subtle um you know gradation of your edits that way it looks a little bit more natural and then now i did a sharpening um if i zoom in a little bit more here you'll see that's before and that's after it just brings back a little bit more detail in the hair and the eye and a little bit more in the skin of course I could take it down a little bit more but it's a taste and you know whenever you do anything you're doing it to you know where you think looks good to you all right and then now there's this other app that calls um, infinity in infinite um, it's a it's a, it's a I'll just show it right here. This is what the app looks like. I won't use it or go into it right now, but I use this app to do a bit of color grading on her skin. And if I activate it, you see now the skin from her head to her shoulders to her arms are very, 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 the tones is just one tone going down. And this app um, works mostly with luminance. And what luminance are, just a basic explanation, is it, it targets your highlights, your mid-tones, and your shadows. And it just gives you a nice uh, combination of colors. And in this color, you can see her skin right here. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good app. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone, but like I said, guys, if you guys want to see more details on this app, just let me know and I'll definitely go into more, but it's really good. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is, this is really my, my help, uh, layer, 
um, when I'm doing my dodging and burning or any kind of skin repair. This kind of just helped me to take care of it. You know, in, in, a, in a, you get to see more of the affected areas better when you go to a more black and, black and white. Um, that's why I call that right there, the my help layer. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, if you guys have enjoyed it so far, I didn't want to make this video too long. If you guys enjoyed this, just subscribe to the channel and you know for more, because I definitely will be posting more um, videos similar to this and also more in-depth videos of me working um, through an actual edit. If you guys want to see that, leave it in the comment and I'll definitely do that. All right, so I won't ramble on anymore, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys, you know, on the channel. I really appreciate you guys, you know, you following me, liking my videos and stuff like that. It encourages me to more to do more and more of these. So have a good day, guys, wherever you are in the world. Have a good day, good night, good evening, wherever you guys are. All right. Peace.